Are you aware that inflammation, that's right, inflammation is the precursor to almost every health challenge that we may encounter in our lifetime? Well, I'm gonna let you in on some vital information that you're not being taught by our traditional healthcare system that may be the answer to what you've been looking for with your health issues. And here is where you'll learn how to combat many of those leading causes of mortality in the United States as it relates to chronic and low-level inflammation. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Barry. And after learning this information, you'll walk with confidence knowing how to manage both acute and chronic inflammatory issues arising from joint pain to irritable bowels to even blood sugar issues by incorporating an effective CBD regimen into your life. Now, CBD has been shown to be beneficial via several different mechanisms originating from hemp, which is backed by research, which I'll be reviewing a little later on. Now, researchers are beginning to examine the potential of using CBD as a safer treatment alternative for inflammatory pain, as studies have found that CBD is effective in reducing inflammatory pain and could work as a safer choice to non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Even demonstrating to be more powerful than many of the commonly recommended natural remedies for inflammation, such as curcumin, fish oil, resveratrol, antioxidants, proteolytic enzymes, and vitamin C. For example, cytokines are the signaling proteins that are manufactured and secreted by our immune cells, but only when they're stimulated. Now, these are modulating or controlling factors that balance both the initiation and the resolution of inflammation. One of the mechanisms the immune system control by CBD has during inflammation is slowing down or stopping the cytokine production by the immune cells. At the same time, lowering the cytokine production by the T helper cells. It's also been demonstrated that overactivity of the cytokines can actually contribute to autoimmune issues as well as food sensitivities and intolerances. Now, a major inflammatory compound that is known as interleukin-6 can also be decreased in the presence of CBD. Very important point. Now, in one major study, researchers tested the effect of CBD on three cell signaling molecules associated with intestinal inflammation and oxidative damage to the gut. And their findings are as follows. Number one, inducible nitric oxide synthase, or NOS. CBD has been shown to reduce the overexpression of NOS in response to colitis. NOS overexpression is well correlated with disease activity with colitis and inhibitors of NOS lead to improvement in experimental models of irritable bowel disorders. NOS results in high output of production of what we call nitrous oxide, which in turn results in oxidative damage to the intestine via the reactive oxygen species, which we all know as a free radical. Number two, interleukin-1 beta, whose levels significantly increase with experimental colitis. Now, interleukin-1 is shown to have a potent pro-inflammatory activity, and thus it heightens the inflammatory response that leads to intestinal injury. The interleukin-1 also amplifies the production of inflammatory leukocytes, which are the immune system cells, resulting in an increase in the amount of inflammation. Now, CBD has been shown to decrease these levels of interleukin-1, resulting in an anti-inflammatory effect. And number three, interleukin-10, 
This is known as the good cells, and the levels, these levels significantly decrease with experimental colitis. Now, CBD has been shown to restore these levels of the beneficial interleukin-10, which has anti-inflammatory activity by inhibiting the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Restoration of the interleukin-10 activity is critical in intestinal health. The reduction of NOS and the reactive oxygen species by CBD, along with the reduction of lipid perioxidation, shows the important therapeutic action of CBD in reduction of colonic inflammation by indirect reduction of oxidative damage. That's a mouthful, but it's something we need to look at and understand that in addition to that, the dysregulation of the interleukins 1 and 10 is is well known in disruption caused by irritable bowel disease. The restoration of these interleukins to normal behavior is accomplished by CBD. Although the specific pathway is unknown, which is another important therapeutic action that CBD has on the reduction of colonic inflammation. More than 25 million people struggle with sensitive gut irritable bowel syndrome, bloating, gas, constipation, and other signs of gut inflammation. With the use of CBD to reduce this gut inflammation could be an absolute game changer for those people who are suffering. However, it is important to understand that CBD is not only limited to just inflammation of the bowel, as it is also very effective from joints to neural tissue. CBD has a variety of natural anti-inflammatory effects, and here is just a sampling of some of the trusted PubMed studies that have been done on CBD and its effect upon inflammation. How far reaching the use of CBD has become is evident with professional athletes from NFL to the NHL and even MMA fighters who are not only using but advocating for CBD's therapeutic effects. Many have chosen this natural alternative to the highly overprescribed, addictive and damaging opioid and anti-inflammatory drugs to deal with their inflammation and pain. Now, their use ranges from being able to simply stay in the game to surviving in a post-career world filled with pain and inflammation. Now, these benefits are not only limited to professional athletes, as a growing number of amateur and recreational athletes are also experiencing CBD's amazing ability to slow or shut down the extreme amount of joint inflammation and pain. The athletes of all walks are not only discovering CBD's ability to assist with inflammatory and painful issues from physical training's constant trauma, but also for its ability to assist the body to relax and sleep at night. Many NFL athletes are now experimenting with cannabis extracts, primarily CBD, to manage post-head injury symptoms and to reduce the chronic mid- and post-career aches and pains. Now, I'm sure if these same athletes realized that they could get all the same anti-inflammatory, anti-anxiety, and sleep effects from CBD, Having this done without worry about addiction or THC testing by their sports federation, they'd likely leap at the chance. That's where understanding what is in your CBD is critical to know and understand its bioavailability and THC content. There are three primary types of CBD on the market. With the full spectrum containing all of hemp's cannabinoids, including terpenes and the psychotropic THC. Now, if you don't have a concern about testing positive for THC, this will provide with what I call the greatest entourage effect of all the ingredients. Now, if you're looking for the most efficient entourage effect without THC, then the broad spectrum would be your choice. But 
On the other hand, if you're not interested in the synergistic effect of all the cannabinoids working together and want to actually utilize CBD, you may want to choose the CBD isolate, which contains only CBD. As far as how long does it take for CBD to work in order to see measurable changes? Well, this is really going to depend on the method of delivery that you choose for your CBD. To list some of the most common delivery methods or administration forms, we have tinctures, capsules, nasal sprays, transdermal, and topical applications, with each having a differing absorption rate and duration of effect. Now, in my opinion, I feel that the tincture is the most beneficial as it absorbs both sublingually under the tongue as well as through the digestive system. Now hopefully this helps you to remain informed as to how CBD affects inflammation as well as pain since many musculoskeletal conditions that involve inflammation are also accompanied by pain. But keep in mind that many other conditions aside from muscular inflammation that originate from an inflammatory situation may greatly benefit from the use of CBD. And remember, there are definite alternatives to treating inflammation and pain without the dangerous side effects. As always, I recommend you do some research on this amazing effect that CBD has within the body. And check out CBD. It may just be the relief that you've been searching for.